So penny stock promoters have lost their influence and their touch lately, but there's something new and even better that is spiking stocks even higher. Stick around, learn who's doing it. Hey, be sure to subscribe on my channel and click that little alert notification bell so you get alerted when I give you more of my wisdom. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here answering your questions, talking about new trends that I see happening in the market, showing you my new charity merch. Do you like it? Leave comments, let me know if you like these kind of casual videos and, and let me know what you think about this merch. This Save the Reef charity merch, which by the way, I'm gonna post a link to, um, all of the money that we uh, make from the merch goes to charities, uh, we donate it and it's charities working on saving the oceans and saving marine life. But the cool thing about this merch, the, the shoulder's a little weird because it literally just came from like the, the factory. Like this is the first time anybody's wearing it. But this is made out of plastic water bottles. Like we're actually recycling plastic while making this merch and it's comfy. There's some recycled materials too. There's a whole list. I'm trying to educate um, I'm trying to, you know, donate more. Frankly, I'm very proud to have donated over $4 million now in the past three years with my charity, but I want to donate more. Um, and now we're making new merch that's made out of recycled materials. So it's all good. And that's what the stock market is all about, like recycling old ideas, recycling old patterns that work again in a slightly different form. Obviously, like this used to be a plastic water bottle. It's not a water bottle anymore. It's now a shirt. And the promoters who used to be so good at pumping up penny stocks, they've mostly been shut down. They've gone the way of plastic water bottles. No one likes them, right? Everyone's like, get rid of plastic water bottles, get rid of penny stock promoters. The same thing has happened, although people still use uh, bottles more than they use promoters. That analogy doesn't really work. But the good news is that even though the old penny stock promoters are either in jail, they might be coked out, uh, they might be in rehab, they might have just sold their email list, they might have promoted too many crappy stocks so their email list doesn't listen to them anymore so they've lost their influence. The good news is there's a whole new batch of people who are spiking stocks higher and faster and with more volume than the promoters ever did because they're doing it accidentally. You see, penny stock promoters are paid either in cash or shares specifically to advertise a piece of crap company and push the stock up so that whoever is paying the promoters can then sell. So you pay, let's say a promoter, and this is a hypothetical situation, but like you pay a promoter, let's say $500,000 and give them 500,000 shares of your piece of crap stock. The stock, thanks to the promoter's emails and social media and talking to his coked out promoter friends in Belize and all these other countries like Panama and Cyprus where you know there's a lot of tax loopholes and legal loopholes, they're all based in these weird places and they get their $500,000, they get their 500,000 shares, and they do whatever they do to get a stock up from let's say like 10 cents to $2 a share. And most people on the Wall Street and the world don't care if a stock goes from 10 cents to two bucks. But anybody who owns that stock certainly does because now the stock price has gone up 20 times. And those 500,000 shares that the promoter has gotten are now worth a million dollars. So for their efforts on pumping it up, they've made a million dollars if they can sell the stock at two. Plus they also got $500,000 in cash or Bitcoin or whatever sketchy currency promoters are using these days. Not bad for a few weeks work if you can lock in a million and a half bucks, right? Or the equivalent in you know, cryptocurrency or whatever, whatever you get paid in. Um, and then when the promotion stops because the promoters have cashed out their 500,000 shares and they've used all the budget for their email and social media pumping services, the stock crashes from two down to, you know, back to 10 or 20 cents. That is a typical penny stock pump and dump. And whether it's legal, quasi-legal, gray area, I don't care. I'm more interested in the pattern. I'm not a lawyer, okay? What these promoters do, I think it's unethical. I think they're going straight to hell. But at the same time, they put their little disclaimer at the bottom of their emails or on social media. And somehow, like, they don't necessarily go to jail, at least not right away. But that pattern repeats over and over and over again. And then, frankly, I made my first million inadvertently you know, piggybacking that pattern. I didn't know about promoters back in 99 and 2000. I was just following penny stocks that were breaking out, but I would buy the breakouts and I would make money almost every single time. Um, pretty amazing. And I made roughly a million dollars. 
But then the breakout stopped and I learned short selling then I made my second and third million. Now, the promotions have almost entirely stopped. Maybe you get like one or two per month, but we used to get like 10, 15, 20 per month. Now, the thing that is spiking the stocks the most are short sellers because frankly, my lessons have gone everywhere and a lot of other people's lessons have gone everywhere and frankly, a lot of my top students made a lot of money shorting these pump and dumps. It's very obvious that you know if the stock is being promoted and there's no fundamentals, it will crash. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. So there's this whole group of short sellers that just like shorting anything that's up. Unfortunately for them, they're very lazy because I don't really short that much right now in 2020. I make a lot of lessons about longs and frankly, I think that that is the best strategy. Um, a lot of short sellers are following you know, wrong advice, misinformation. They're not watching my 6,000 plus video lessons. They don't wanna put in the time. They just say, oh, it's a pump. It's gonna come down. I don't need to study. And the problem is, is that because there's so many short sellers right now in 2020, they're creating these short squeezes. There's too many people betting against these stocks. When they do short sell and the stocks keep going, they have to buy to cover. That pushes the stocks up even more. So you're seeing a lot of these piece of crap companies with zero promoters just up on speculative news or maybe they're in the right sector and they go from like, let's say one to three or one to four, all the short sellers now enter thinking that it's gonna come back down, but it doesn't come back down because the strategy is flawed and too crowded. And then instead of going from one to three, one to four, like penny stock promoters used to spike them to, now they're going from one to 10, one to 20, one to 50 in a day or two, sometimes three or four days. It's crazy how much these short sellers are getting crushed. BPTH uh, in 2019 was probably the best example of where it went from the single digits to over $70 a share in the same, what, two or three days in the same week, which is crazy. Um, there's also a lot of other examples. I don't need to go into all of them, but just know that when there's a lot of short sellers, it's a good thing. So you might see me try to piss off some of the short sellers, like I used to try to piss off the promoters on Twitter. Um, promoters used to like, if I would rip on a company, they would promote extra hard. And I'd be happy because I might not even be short. Shorting is always tough, even trying to find shares of short. I just wanted the promoters to spike the stocks even more. Um, and now the same thing with short sellers. So I rip on short sellers a lot on Twitter and in videos um, and basically just making fun of their existence and, and ignorance and laziness because I want them shorting more. I want them making emotional decisions so that they create even bigger squeezes. Um, Click the link just below this video. I'm gonna give you a link to the book, The Complete Penny Stock Course, and I'm gonna give you a link to my challenge because this is just a quick video. I can't teach you everything, but I do mentor students, okay? My team and I, it's not just me, it's also my top millionaire students. And we wanna teach you these patterns so that you can adapt, so that you're not like just a lazy, ignorant short who's creating all these short squeezes. Thank you to them. Thank you to my non-students, my former students who don't want to put in the time and effort and they're getting destroyed. Um, I don't you know, root for anybody to lose a lot of money, but if you're not going to study and if you're going to ignore my rules that I've refined over the past 20 plus years, I mean, you kind of have it coming to you. Um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I don't say that I know everything or that I'm the best trader, but I know some very good rules at keeping traders safe. I've probably taught more penny stock traders than anybody else. And I really am conflicted when I get emails from non-students or former students where they say, oh, I'm losing big, I got squeezed. I recognize that short selling is a strategy. I recognize that it's a very flawed strategy and the risk reward is terrible. Um, so I wanna warn you about it, but at the same time, if you're a long bias trader like I am and like many of my top students have become lately, we love short squeezes because they are the new promoters. So if you know a short seller, maybe buy them a drink because they probably had a rough day on any given day. Um, but if you like them, try to like maybe show them this video, try to warn them because they don't even realize how crowded the space is. If you don't like them, let them do their thing. Um, wish them well and you know allow them to keep creating short squeezes that we can buy into and make excessive amounts of money because of their laziness. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think about this video. Are you gonna be a prepared trader or are you gonna be ignorant and lazy and a short seller? You choose.